atropine is the next drug. Atropine is used to manage bradycardia. So it comes in a vial that is a zero comma five milligrams per meal. The way you dilute it, you add it to five meals of the last line. So it's gonna be zero comma five milligrams divided by five meals. That will give us zero comma one milligrams per meal. So for the kids, you can further titrate it, you can further dilute it. Okay, then the next one, so, um, so this, when you have drawn it, in that syringe you shall just write, a shopping, because all the syringe, syringes that you use must be labeled. Then the next one, let me just clear space for it. Next one is adrenaline. So, the common adrenaline that you're gonna find, the strength is that Is that is that one is to a thousand, which is the concentration. So this means that one milligram is equal to one meal. So this is the concentration. So. So each vial of adrenaline has got one milligrams. We're going to talk about this formulation. So what you do, you take a 10 mil syringe, you draw this one mil, add that one mil to nine mils of your mass line. What you're gonna get there the concentration of one is two. One is to ten thousand. So now this is this is the new concentration that you have. And this is a hundred micrograms. A meal. So, when you go to theatre or as you prepare these drugs, you're gonna have two syringes, two 10 ml syringes that are gonna have adrenaline. The first one will be labeled as adrenaline. Just simple right hundred is to is to one. Then you take one mil of this and add another nine mils of the mass line. 
what you're gonna get there, the concentration that you're gonna get. You're gonna get one is two. of the concentration it's 10 micrograms per meal so that's the second syringe going to be written it's going to be labeled adrenaline and is to one this is the second in your syringe this is the first so basically at any given time you're gonna have two syringes that have got adrenaline the one will be labeled like this because it's the weaker one compared to this one because one is more diluted right um, so that's adrenaline so Adrenaline can be used in many situations. In anaphylaxis, it can also be used to boost the blood pressure when ephedrine is no longer. Remember, ephedrine takes advantage of the endogenous um, catecholamines. So there's a point whereby um, there's a point whereby the catecholamine secretion endogenous catecholamine secretion will be exhausted at that time no matter how much effort you're gonna give it just won't work so there's a point where you're gonna switch from effort and go for adrenaline simply because you've exhausted to endogenous norepinephrine and adrenaline. You cannot have F effect anymore. So yeah. So I hope you guys got that. So just remember I think this is a more this is a, a bit challenging dilution. So most of the vines that we have they have this concentration. Apparently there is an adrenaline that has got this concentration already. There is a vial that you just find it having that concentration. Which means you must look at it before you, 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 you dilute. But most of the times we have this concentration. So like I said, you take that, this is one mil, you add it to nine mils of normal saline. In a 10 ml syringe, what you're gonna get, you're gonna get this concentration, which is a hundred micrograms per meal. And then from there, you take, you draw one meal and add another nine meals of noadrine. This is where you're gonna end up. So you label both syringes, then you put them there. And uh, you wait for for the time when you need them. So these are the emergency drugs. I hope that helps. Thank you.